Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and to episode 24 of Species Spotlight where today's spotlight will be on the Dwarf Brittle Star, a small species of brittle star that can be found on coastlines around the UK. So if you go on to enjoy this video, please leave a like and remember to subscribe so you can keep up to date with my new uploads in the future. So let me tell you all about the Dwarf Brittle Star. As its name suggests, the dwarf brittle star is one of the smallest species of brittle stars in the world. This brittle star is a starfish-like echinoderm that lives in the intertidal zone in shallow water and can be found under large stones, shells and around sessile invertebrates such as bryozoans. This species can be identified by its small appearance and a variable coloration, which can be grey to a bluish white. It has thin, short arms that can grow to around 20mm long, with the round disc in the centre growing to 5mm, and also has a scale covering with D-shaped radial plates. Brittle stars can drop an arm when being attacked by a predator. This process is known as self-amputation, and when the star is threatened, the nerve system tells the collagenous tissue near the base of the arm to disintegrate. The arm eventually regrows, which is a process which can take weeks to months depending upon the species. Brittle stars don't move using tube feet like starfish and sea urchins do. They move by wiggling their arms, and amazingly, they're the first radially symmetrical animal documented to move this way. Dwarf brittle stars are highly abundant across the UK only being absent on a stretch of coastline in the east of Scotland. This species is a deposit feeder collecting particles with its arms and a suspension feeder via trapping detritus in mucus. It is hermaphroditic and the eggs are brooded and hatched as juveniles. So that's all you need to know about the Dwarf Brittle Star. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please leave a like and remember to subscribe to keep up to date with my new videos in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.